Hey guys, welcome back to another Tech Tip Tuesday. Today's tip is based around turbo oiling, more specifically on twin turbos. So a lot of people are building cars right now and the use of twin turbos, even on V8s, uh, has really increased in the last few years. It's a great combination to put two small turbos, they package easier, everything. One consistent problem I see, uh, you know, maybe half a dozen to a dozen times a year is this oiling trick. And it can be catastrophic to your turbos and it doesn't really seem like it should be that big of a deal, but it is, and I want you guys to learn from it so you don't have to learn the hard way. So today I'm standing in front of the Blue Mule, and before you ask, yes, the Blue Mule is finally gonna come out this year. We've been incredibly busy at the shop the last few years, and it just really has been a headache of a car. We had a lot of issues with the can system on it, um, when you start to make something like this a race car, it really becomes complicated when you take devices out that were there because it interrupts a can uh, signal, And uh, but we'll get back to that later. I just want to let you guys know that we are working hot and heavy on it, and our goal is to have it on race week this year. As you can see, we have a pair of Mirror Image 6466 Precision Turbos. Um, you know, we're pulling oil off of right by the oil filter on this, and we're running a line up, and so one thing I commonly see folks do is they will run a line right into this uh, housing here, or that one for that matter, and put a T right here on top. And so they would run it in and then run it through over to here. Seems simple, right? Why would you run two lines when you can just run one? Believe it or not, that actually is going to destroy the second turbo in the line. Because what happens is basically you have pressure coming to right here. After right here, you basically have a bearing uh, system that's allowing a loss of pressure on the backside. And uh, if things are, especially if you don't have oil restrictors and all that, basically all the oil is escaping out here. And this turbo is only getting what's left of the oil. It's not getting a real pressurized oil. And it's really just getting uh, just a little bit of leftover remnants, which is not enough for the bearing to survive. Uh, sometimes on ball bearings, it's a little bit more capable of surviving. It's definitely amplified as a problem on a journal bearing. So what we do um, on any of our twin turbo projects is on an LS, uh, this is obviously an LT, on an LS we'll put our LS oil pressure sensor adapter. There's two ports on it. And then take two separate lines and run them to the turbos. I'll put the link to this LS oil pressure adapter down below. This is a super helpful piece that's just like just over 20 bucks. And uh, it's really gonna make your life easy as far as plumbing and uh, routing and getting an oil feed for your turbos. On this particular application, we ended up having to tap into uh, the oil pan and we welded the number six AN male uh, feed. So we took a six and put it into a Y and split it into two four. So um, right below the headers there, there's a Y fitting and there's a four, a four AN line that comes up here to this uh, turbo, and there's a four in line that comes up to this turbo. And so why that is effective is both are fed with a pressure line. Um, neither one of them come after something else is already bleeding the pressure off. It's happened, like I said, quite a few times over the years where somebody puts a new turbo set up together, they put it on a dyno and they can't go, hey man, the turbos are destroyed already, what happened? And uh, that's really not, you know, really related to what a specific brand of a turbo or anything like that. It's just a function of the oil disappearing out the first turbo. So a couple quick tidbits. I know I'm going to get questions about line sizing on um, oil lines. My quick rule of thumb is a mid frame turbo and below uses a 4AN uh, feed line and a mid frame and above uses a number six. Uh, on a T4 to a mid-frame, I'll use a 10 AN drain line. The caveat there is that you need to have a 10 AN drain fitting that is a large bore. Uh, some of the drain fittings have a small bore, even though the outside is a 10 AN, and those will actually restrict the outflow of oil. And uh, with a large bore like what we make with the O-ring, um, it's gonna drain the oil just fine. And then anything above that mid-frame, go with the number 12, uh, O-ring style drain that we make. Uh, that'll be anything like large frame pro mod, GT55, that type of stuff. So I hope this saves a few people uh, from plumbing things incorrectly. I always like to share our mistakes because we've made them. 
we can save you money and save you a lesson uh, by just making this video. So I would super appreciate if you guys are made it to this point in the video that you take the link and share this on your social media because we want to tell your friends about it. We're just trying to spread the word on things that work and don't work so that uh, you guys can have more fun out there and be more successful and race more and be uh, frustrated less. So. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. If you have comments or questions, drop them down below. That's how we get ideas for the next Tech Tip Tuesday video. We'll see you guys next time.